What's going on, YouTube? Another update here. Ooh, thunder and lightning. Uh, out here again in the greenhouse. Another Thursday update of the Lava Rock Aquaponic Garden. <laughs> Good stuff. Um, all kind of fun stuff going on. At the very end, I'll show you... Uh, I actually grabbed the camera right in time and got the... I believe I got the grasshopper getting eaten by the catfish. One of the grasshoppers. Um, there's another clip coming up here very soon. Right over there, there's another grass... Well, I'll zoom. What the heck? I think I'm standing in the fan anyway. There's a uh, praying mantis over there eating a grasshopper. Oh, yeah. I'll throw that clip at the very end, too. But in here, everything's been going on pretty decent. Um, I guess we'll start way over here. The dinosaur tail is looking marvelous. Um... Very nice growth in there. No pest damage. Huzzah. Um, but we've got quite a, uh, a lot. Quite a lot. Quite a lot? We've got a lot of pests in here right now. We've got all kind of stuff in here, actually. Uh, over here in the hydro tube, I noticed uh, a few praying mantises. There's that other guy over there. Um, there's wasps flying everywhere, and they're going crazy on leaves, so I think they might be taking out white flies. I never heard they take out white flies, but I don't know. Maybe they're taking out some kind of egg, or I don't know. But all kind of stuff going on over here. Mint, look at that. It's taking off like it always does. Um, and it doesn't appear to be many pests in this whole general area. Thank you to Mindy Maxwell. That's the one who uh, reminded me of the companion planning. Um, Brussels. Right, Brussels? Yeah, Brussels. <laughs> Over here, looking half decent. Um, yeah, if you watch all the way to the very end, you'll see uh, they look awesome now, don't they? Um, and same with that one right over there. That was the one I topped. Look, it's got a whole pile of stuff going on in there. Um, lettuce is all going to seed. I don't even know why I'm letting it go into seed. Letting it go into... Um, letting it going to seed over here uh, in these little three-inch net cups. But, hey, what the heck? Let's see if something pops up. That's been dead for a while. I did that a long time ago. Um, who else do we have over there? Just the mint. And I think that strawberry is dead, isn't it? Oh, yeah, it is. Ah, oh, can't get up. Here we go. That thing's dead, dead. Well, that's good, because I can barely reach over there. Um, yeah, the catfish, they're gigantic. Uh, I put out a video last week of them eating all the food that I threw in there. Um, oops, there they are right there. There's another one. They're pretty active right now. I think it's because the water level's a little low, and it's pretty warm out. And, uh, I don't know, maybe they're trying to cool themselves down or something. Uh, hopefully this storm will give me some more water over there in my reservoir so I can fill up. I need water in both tanks really bad. And I really don't need use city water. Um, especially since I got my little rain gutter system. If you missed that, there's a gutter on the outside. I need one on the other side and the back and the front and all that stuff. But I only have one on one side and it's, uh, pretty much piped right here into this reservoir. So, free water. Um, my lettuce right here looking dead. And I kind of moved it so it's not over the fish tank. Now it's kind of hanging uh, over the walkway, I guess. But uh, I want it hanging kind of right here. All right. That's where it'll go. All right. It's kind of like Velcro there. <laughs> Stuck. But, uh, yeah. I just want to let all those seeds fall and see what we get. My little tiny stick is dead. Yeah. Oop. There we go. Didn't really root, so it's out of here. Uh, my little strawberry, not looking too bad. It's my prized one of the entire greenhouse. My broken tail here, um, which it was broken. Oh, that's cool. Way down here, where it looks like it mended itself. Very cool. Um, but yeah, this guy had a little pest damage. You see right there, and there's fly little suckers. Little like white fly dealies. There we go. Some right there. So they are hanging out here, munching away. Um, but yeah, can't wait to see which uh, predator comes in here next for those guys. Um, yeah, my Brussels. Oh, yeah. Look at that one, man. That one took a beating. I just pulled a ton of caterpillars off of there and uh, went through it like five or six times. That's why it's so late uh, getting this video. But. Uh, yeah, I was just trying to make sure that I got them all. I think I did. 
but if you look down in here, all those little white dots, those are pretty much, I guess, white flies, so, hmm, who will, um, more damage over here on this guy, but, eh, he's kind of hanging over, he'll be fine, um, <laughs> probably won't be fine, but, uh, my little tiny little sprouts popping up, I, some kind of lettuce, and there's a bunch of them. So I don't think it was this lettuce right here because it's just been hanging this way for like a week or so. But uh, I don't know. I got a whole pile of little volunteers popping up. Uh, my sucker back here in the back corner, it's trying to flower right there. My broccoli, eh, I don't know that I look. That one's not looking so good and pest damaged and stuff. The one in the front looks good. Uh, the main one right here on the back side somewhere, oh, I think it was that one right there, I cut that off, it was all infested with caterpillars, I cut the whole like trunk off of it, and fed it to the chickens, and they looked like they were having a good time with it, so, oh well, um, I forget what the heck I was going to say, but anyway, um, scattered throughout here. There are some pods right here. Um, I let a lot of stuff just fall off while I had uh, the little seed pod dealies. And I just let them kind of fall where they wanted to. Beyond, uh, besides that, I also had um, a bunch of pods that I would just go ahead and open up and just let the seeds fall wherever. So hopefully we're gonna get a bunch of broccoli. And speaking of, there's one that I never even noticed. So that's pretty cool. And the camera will not focus on it. Come on, man. Do I need to get closer or something? Oh, well. It's viewable there. Um, and my little sucker right next to it. Indigo, right? Yeah, Indigo Rose. Looking beautiful. Did I miss anybody? Oh, the onion aisle. Well, I guess I haven't been forgetting it lately, but I used to forget it all the time. Let's see how big this thing is getting here. No real bulb, but... That's half decent right there. Kind of getting some algae in there. Probably need a little more rock. Fill that up a little bit. Um, talk about the seeds. I didn't talk about my little tiny pepper here. There we go. That is getting its first true leaves. Look at that. It's starting to pop right out there in the center. So pretty excited about that. And it's, uh, I don't know, that far end of the leaf, it's not really looking that good. But that's not a real leaf, so I'm not concerned yet yet. Um, uh, indigo. It's called this Marglo. Indigo rose starting to flower right here. Right at the very top. Um, usually where they do that. Um, right behind it, more indigo. I think I showed that one already, but there's another one right here. Nice. And yeah, it's actually trying to flower right there too. And another one right here, and it is starting to flower right up here. So that's pretty cool. Um, let's see, right over here, this little, what is that, Ugh. but yeah, this pepper right here, not looking so hot, but it's got a jalapeno on it, so that is awesome, my first jalapeno aquaponic uh, style since last year. Um, my dinosaur kale here, I went through and pulled a bunch of caterpillars off on this one. And uh, this one, I believe. No, it was this one. <laughs> Look at those leaves. And I believe. No, I just saw one. Where'd it, where'd it go? Hmm. Or maybe I didn't see one, but uh, <laughs> now I'm seeing phantom caterpillars. Um, but no, I pulled a whole pile of them off, threw them in the fish tank, and it was actually very rewarding because when I fed the fish, they were swimming around and all happy and like eating the fish or the fish food off the top of the water and everything, and then swimming to the bottom of the tank while they were swimming around. It was just they would go over the the little worms, and you would just see them disappear. Very re rewarding. Gardening is so much fun. Um, yeah, so that's my three dinosaur kale, my little. Um, uh, Malabar spinach over here, not looking so great, but uh, it's starting to take off. Uh, my cabbage uh, that was ravished, uh, that's so dumb, um, but it's got white dealies all throughout, and uh, yep, see what happens. Uh, but it's not looking too bad. Uh, wasn't there something else? Oh, right, yeah, this little guy appeared out of nowhere. 
and it's hanging out. Apparently, what was that? Um, there was another something right there. It looks like a pepper, actually. No, it looks like a pak choy or something that got, I don't know, sunburn or something. Um, I thought there was something else. Nah, not this time. Um, man, stupid soaked wood. Big crap all over your hand. Ugh, gross. Um, my mint hanging out over here, hanging down. It's gigantic. <laughs> stuff uh, will just take over anything. Um, kind of glad I let it only hang over here. That way it's not trying to take over the whole bed here. Whoa, what's that? New addition. Um, that is my mammoth jalapeno. I pulled it out of the hydro tube here. It was the last one there. Um, because, look at it. It's just really yellow and looks, I don't know, nitrogen deficient, I believe. Um, so I figured what better way to get it nitrogen than what is it? We'll be up to five catfish that we've got in here. So I just moved it over here and we'll see what happens. I mean, it already got that bad and uh, it's been a while since I put nutrients in there. So maybe that was part of the problem, but we'll see how it does in aquaponics. I figure, heck with it. I got another jalapeno outside and uh, dirt. So we'll see what happens with this little guy. Um, yeah, cabbage. Yeah, they're just still here. Not really doing much. Lettuce over here, still flowering. Letting it do it. I might kind of like angle it over so it's over here. And maybe we can get some lettuce in this bed voluntarily. Um, and that's just about it. Um, oh. We still are having fun back here, huh? Dude, he is eating the heck out of that thing. Now, let me see if I can zoom in from right here. Get it done, buddy. Aw, oh, come on, camera. I know you don't want to focus. <laughs> anyway, now it's turning into uh, Nature World. Look at that, man. Eat that guy. <laughs> Take that grasshopper. All right. Anyway, that was a, probably a long, it was long, winded uh, walk around here. Uh, like I mentioned, windows are open over there, so we've got a little bit of aeration, storm coming through, all that fun stuff. Um, yeah, so anyway, that's enough for me. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button down there at the bottom. Uh, if you thought this was halfway entertaining, don't forget to throw me a uh, comment down below. Always love seeing that. Hit that subscribe button so you can come back and check out my super hot peppers over there along the wall on Mondays. The hot tub aquaponic garden right over here on Tuesdays. Thursdays is the lava rock aquaponic garden with the catfish over there. And Fridays back here with the hydro tube along the back wall that I can no longer walk down the walkway. But anyway, um, yeah, let's hit some shout outs. Um, since we're in aquaponics, let's talk about other people doing aquaponics. How about uh, Troll, Brother Troll? Check him out down below. I'll throw him in the description. Um, grab him, uh, or subscribe to him. Get him a bunch more subscribers. Uh, Jim Connor across the pond. Uh, he's always doing hydroponics and stuff like this hydro tube back there. Check him out. He's also doing all kind of crazy other stuff too, uh, with electronics and stuff. Um, oh, who else do we have? Sir Cracker. Make sure you go check out Sir Cracker as well. And, uh, yeah, as always, check out Dave S and WV. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much all I got over here. So I'm going to get out of here and I will catch y'all in the next video. So, oh yeah, right, I have uh, extra clips that are going to pop right up here, right after this, so I hope it's entertaining. Anyway, I'm out of here, later. Oh yeah, starting to turn this pest war around. Get her done, little buddy. That is grasshopper leg, in case you couldn't tell. <laughs> Ah, uh, it's on.
can't really see, but I think he's gone. <laughs> now I walk all the way back over here. Oh fuck, that's right. I say fuck on camera. I shouldn't do that. Alright. Are you ready? I'm not ready. I'm like crowding Jay over here. Oh god. Alright. Are you ready? No, we're not. All right, let's do it anyway, though. Oh, wait, shit. Damn it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, let's just move this over here. Oh, shit. Right, I can't do that. Fuck. Um, here. All right. Jeez, man, this is dumb. All right. Why did I keep it on record anyway? Alright, fine. I'm just gonna go in the video then. Take that, me. That'll learn you to stop recording. Alright. Let's do this, shall we? Aw oh, man, all that shit was fucking bad. Alright. All this. This this one was bad too. So was this one. Look over here, bunch of stuff. Inside. Put up there. Oh, look at that. Plant looks way better. Oh man, I've been taking such good care of it. Over there. there we go. Alright. Ooh! My hands smell minty. Alright, that's enough, man. Alright, let's do this, shall we? And. 